This project was sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company based in China with an experience of more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. It is committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different industries in terms of quality, delivery, cost effectiveness and any other demanding requests. Moreover, now PCBWay provides high quality material TG150-160 but the same price with TG130-140. Get 10 PCBs only $5 from PCBWay. There are many different ways to detect the level of water in a particular container. This time I will describe a way to make a sensor yourself and then with the help of a microcontroller to accurately deter determine the level of liquid in the container. I will also show you how this level and its change can be tracked graphically on the PC monitor. To make the sensor we need only a ribbon cable from old ID disk or floppy drive. First we need to separate four wires from the cable uh, and cut them to a length equal to the depth on the container in which the liquid level is to be monitored. Then on one side we remove the insulation with a length of about one centimeter. We need to make the other end waterproof in some way. The simplest way to do this is as follows. With the help of pillars we pull the unisolated wires outwards so that the other end of the cable is uh, at the other end of the cable is created a place where there are no wires. Uh, here we melt the insulation and press with, with our fingers so that the small holes are closed and the liquid has no contact with the copper wires. Then make two sets of two wires each and we glue the cable to solid plastic for fixing. Now the sensor is ready and in fact it is a small capacitor. When immersing the sensor in a liquid, its capacitance changes proportionally and we detect this change with the help of an Arduino microcontroller. As for the Arduino, in this case we use the capacitor library with the help of which we can measure capacitance with no external hardware and requires only one digital and one analog pin. We now register the values of the capacity of an empty and fully filled capacity, uh, container. Next we map uh, these values with the amount of liquid that the container collects. In my case it is uh, 500 milliliters. And now let's see what this look like in reality. And now these are uh, mapped values in the ratio of 0 to 500 milliliters. For this purpose I will use the great freeware software Serialcom Instruments. With this software we can create a set of virtual instruments for bidirectional connection with microcontrollers. There are a lot of, di of uh, different instruments available and more will be provided in the future. Instruments can, can be placed everywhere within the screen. The data protocol is very simple to enable even hobbyists to come to a working project with only a few lines of microcontroller code in a short time. You can download the software uh, at the author's page. There is also a detailed manual for the program in PDF format. Now let's create uh, a simple set of instruments that will display the state of the liquid in the container. We choose three type of instruments, analog instrument, tank meter, and graphic display.
With a double click we can set each instrument individually. Now we repeat the same procedure for the other instruments. Let me also mention that to each individual instrument we can add value from a different sensor. By connecting more such instruments we can lay out a complete production process for a product. Uh, as you can see from the demonstration the precision of the sensor is really high and the response is linear which is ideal for this case. We can even increase the accuracy by using two metal strips placed in parallel and laminated with a plastic warp. Below you can find a brief description of the sensor as well as the whole device.